running for city council at large for the Green Party. I am a retired analytical chemist. I am an educator. I'm a musician. I'm a mother. And I'm a proud West Philadelphia native. I left Philadelphia in um, 1970. Not really sure if I was a high school graduate or not, probably on the verge of being a statistic because I had a, a childhood that was very similar to a lot of other people, dysfunctional. However, what I learned in Philadelphia, the education of public and Catholic schools took me a long way. When I finally went to college about six years after I was supposed to gra have graduated, didn't realize I hadn't, was missing one credit, I made Dean's List with the education that I had here in Philadelphia. It took me there, the first year of college. When I came back to Philadelphia in 2007, I was amazed that the children were not learning what I learned. They, were, did, they did not have the same opportunities that I had 51 years ago. So that is why I am very passionate about the education and the people are asking and they're looking to people who have certain expertise. I have a certain skill set that I would be more than criminal if I did not use it to help the people that helped me get to where I am. Let's see what's about this one. What will you do to combat homelessness in the city? One of the things I'm very excited about is the Green New Deal. And that Green New Deal, I believe, will help Philadelphia immensely in several ways. It will not only bring jobs to Philadelphia, I think it will address the um, climate change issue that it, everyone is, is very concerned about. Um, the Green New Deal is also embraced by the Democrats. And that's wonderful because I will be the greenest Democrat that you will have ever seen. Um, I will push farther for this Green Deal than anyone else will. The reason for this is because it's very simple to implement on a very grassroots level. By planting and taking the first, um, the first line of defense with our climate change, we know that climate change affects our, our heat. It uh, can affect the amount of rainfall. And it also talks about the carbon emissions that we have in our atmosphere. The most suitable technology we have is our very own oldest infrastructure, trees. Trees will absorb the carbon emissions. They will create a permeable surface for additional rainwater and they will provide a canopy to keep our streets and our homes cool. So by providing a massive and a large scale tree planting, tree care, street sweeping and litter collection, we can start creating jobs right away on a grassroots level. There are many other things that the Green New Deal will want to address, but this is the first line. It goes right to the community it will stimulate the community to get involved, and that's what we need. What role do you see small businesses playing in job creation, and how will you support them? I am very, very passionate about small businesses and the ability to make it easy for them to uh, establish themselves and to remain in business. So uh, small businesses are the backbone and um, anything that we can do to make uh, businesses thrive, we should be doing, but not at the expense of our people. We always must uh, make sure that the businesses that come into fruition are in line with the best possible interests of our population and our people. That's what the Green Party stands for. We're not anti-business, but we are pro-people and people before, and peace before profits.